Okay, so now we've got our chart where we're looking at total revenue by month, and that's great, but I also want to see total units by month. So I could select just that column, and I could create a new chart, but I'd really like to see these together. I'd like to see the correlation between the number of units sold and the total revenue. So I'm going to get rid of both of these charts. And I'm going to create a new one with all of this data. So I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to go over to my chart. doesn't really matter which one I select right now. But I'm going to select this one. So, okay, I've got in blue total revenue and in orange total units. So you can see that down here. And we still got the month. But obviously, if we look over here, we don't get a whole lot of info about the total units because they're so significantly lower than the revenue. So really what I want is I want these on another axis. So I see the total units over here. So what I've done is I've selected that line and I'm going to say right click format data series. Now when you do that, you see over here secondary axis. That's great. So now I've got this line correlating to the orders over here and the blue line correlating to the total revenue, which is good looking, but I would rather have one line and one bar chart. Now, I like the bar for the total revenue. So I'm gonna select that, the blue line. I'm gonna keep it on primary. But what I'm gonna do is go up to chart design up top and change chart type. I can select column from here. And now, I have a chart where I have in blue and columns, a total revenue and in orange, the total units. So now with these together, you can see a bit of a trend, but now I can easily say that, hey, July was kind of an anomaly. July saw an actually a decrease in total units sold from the previous month, but an increase in total revenue. So what was sold in July uh, were items of greater value. So that's really important for me to know. And maybe I can go back and see what was going on in July. Did we have a special going on? Was there a new seller? Was there anything in particular about why that stands out? This is now a much cleaner look. And I have on the right, my total units. On the left, my total revenue. So that's how you can create a chart with two different axes.